Now we are going to test the transformations UI feature. For this, we are going to create a new HTML file. And I'm going to write the code, the default HTML code of it. Then we need to add the scripts and the libraries from the transformations UI feature. So I'm going to move to the documentation page and I'm going to click into the transformations UI section and into the JavaScript button. And here we are going to find the script and the CSS library. So I'm going to copy the script and paste it into my code right here. It's also important to not forget the CSS library because it will give all the styles to our interface. So I'm going to copy it and paste it into my file again. Right now, I'm going to add my personal script that I always add into my HTML files. This script will control my HTML file. And now I'm going to add a div because I want to show into my HTML file my transformed image. So I'm going to give it some basic style. And to add the image tag with its ID. Now everything's ready, so I'm going to move and to add my JavaScript file. I'm going to start the JavaScript adding a window event listener. So this script will run when our file have been already loaded. Now I'm going to add a new constant where I'm going to define my object, a new false and transform object. And here I need to paste my API key. So I'm going to move to my developer portal and I'm going to copy it and paste it here. Okay, now it's time to initialize this object. So I'm going to use the function open and I'm going to paste a new URL of the image I want to transform. Here I'm going to use an image that I uploaded before into my false tag bucket. And then I want to show my image into the div that we defined into our HTML file. I'm going to locate this image tag by its ID and I'm going to define its source as the response of the function. And now our JavaScript is ready. So we're going to open our application and write the extension, transformations UI. Here I will be able to see our transformations interface. I can do a lot of things to it. I can make a crop, for example, a customization crop, a circle, a square, make it smaller. For example, I can add also a lot of filters to it. As you can see, this interface has a lot of filters that you can apply depending on your needs. I like this one. And also you can make a lot of adjustments to this image and they will be adjusted in, t in real time. So this is really useful. We can change the brightness, for example, the blur, the contrast. The gamma, the percentages of the colors, the noise, for example, the hue. We can make it more pixelated if we want. The saturation of the image. 
we can also add text to it. I will write an example text, for example, we can change its size. And we also can edit this text, for example, change its color. And a lot of things. We can add borders to it if we want to. And change the color of the border, for example. And finally, we can add an overlay image. This function essentially uploads a file using your file stack picker to your personal bucket. And then you can manipulate this image over your the image you are working on. So for example, I will upload a sample file again. So we're going to be able to see both the original and the transformed images to see the difference between them. So there are a lot of things we can do with this transformation interface. Right now, I'm going to save this and we can appreciate the image here. And this is how this works. Thank you for choosing Falsac.